If winter is making your yard a little dreary, perhaps it is time right now to get the green to the inside. Jeff Ray goes indoors in this week's Garden 101. Gardening doesn't have to stay outdoors. You can bring it inside where winter and drought stay on the other side of the door and success comes a little easier. For example, snake plants are easy. They are super tough. So they're house plants that anybody can grow. Uh, they don't require a lot of water or a lot of fertilizer. Also known as mother-in-law tongue for their sharp points, there are several varieties to choose from. Make sure you don't overwater them and avoid direct sunlight. Every three or four years with the snake plant, you need to think about repotting it. You can change out the soil at that time. Another great indoor plant? Most people are familiar with aloe vera or the genus and species aloe vera. It is incredibly easy to grow, but there are also other aloes and hybrid aloes that are just as easy as well. These are succulents, prefer lots of light. There is a lot of diversity in color, shape, and size. But don't think you need a window for an indoor plant. But there are some that do really well in those lower light conditions. Now, this is one that, that people, uh, you know, mix up and call English ivy, but it's actually called pothos or sometimes devil's ivy. This plant is a vigorous vine and can fill a corner. Another great low light plant is an airplane plant. It can also spill over a table or fill a corner. Bring a little green indoors. It can keep out the winter blues. That's this week's Gardening 101. All right, folks, if you do have a question about your garden, go to our website, cbsdfw.com, and click on the weather page. There you'll find the Gardening 101 link. Get your question in, and Jeff will try and get you an answer.